What are some of the main things that you were looking out for from your team tomorrow, the areas that you really need to succeed in to get the victory over Exeter and, and move to the second round? I think uh, first and foremost, we have to we have to try and control the tempo of the game. Uh, with Akron, that's always a challenge because they're good at controlling the tempo of the game as well. Um, but I think at the end of the day, you know, it's 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 playoff football. Uh, it's uh, survive and advance football. So uh, the conditions aren't going to necessarily lend itself to playing great soccer tomorrow with the wind and the and the and the cold. But I think we'll do our best to do that, but also to try and grind out a result. Which players are you looking to have the most impact early to step up and really be the key to getting you off to a good start and you know trying to get you the win? I think uh, with our team, there's no secrets as to you know who kind of runs our show and guys like Joey Piacic and Jamie Merriam and 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 Ryan Kane are, are, are three of our main attacking cogs. But uh, I think we need to establish some some dominance in the middle of the pitch as well. And that's where guys like Jack Elliott, Francio Henry, and Hayden Bennett, um, our two seniors at the center back and our junior midfielder, are going to be uh, important uh, cogs for us in terms of locking down the center of the pitch and, and, and winning possession back and, and also getting possession going forward for us. Coming in as the fourth seed, taking on Akron, you know, the top seed overall, which areas, um, you know, or what about Akron um, do you think are the areas that you're going to have to attack the most? To, to their weaknesses, what, what are you trying to attack? I think uh, Akron's a, a very, very good team, and it's not necessarily about trying to find their weaknesses. It's about more so about playing our strengths. and. Um, I think our strengths are difficult for anybody to stop when we're clicking on all cylinders. We can go forward and we can score goals in boatloads. Um, and so for us, it's more about focusing on ourselves, focusing on what we do well. It, like we said, establishing the rhythm and the tempo of the game and, and, and trying to make sure that we uh, we attack with numbers and, and, and hopefully we get some goals. And it's important that we try and get the first goal of the game. Um, but, uh, you know, Akron's too good of a team to, to, to worry about them. I think we'll be more concerned about how we're going to play. What's the one thing that your team needs to do that will lead you to a ch championship this year? I, I think we've got to defend well. We know we're going to score goals. That's that's not been our that's not been our issue this year. Um, but if we defend well, uh, if we can we can keep Akron at bay, uh, I think we've got a good shot at, at, at winning the, this game and, and any other game moving forward. Um, you know, championship football is about surviving and advancing. Uh, Virginia won a national title a year ago by defending, defending first, um, and so. Uh, you know, at this time of year, you look at World Cups, you look at European Championships. It's they're never the prettiest games anymore uh, because everybody's playing for the same same thing. They're playing to survive in advance, and so um, you know our mentality's got to be that we've got to find ways to get results. And if that means it's a one nothing game, it means it's a one nothing game. But we got to defend first.